Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the second installment of my declutter series of 2023. We are going into foundations and I will link up in the corner my skincare declutter. That was my first one and I kind of figured I would try to go in the order of how I kind of put on makeup. So, you know, we start with our skincare and primers and then we're going to go into foundation. Um, I really don't know, like... I don't really have a set intention of what I'm wanting to get rid of, what I'm wanting to keep, you know, like specific numbers. Some people are like, oh, I want to get rid of 50%. I really don't know. This is just a guessing game. So <laughs> with that, um, let's just, let's just dive on into it. So just stick around if that's something you want to, you want to watch. We'll start with this batch of products. So the first one's I know I'm going to be keeping because they're currently in my shop, my stash. Um, I will link that up in the corner for you. Every month I basically pick out a whole bunch of products that I like and um, try to provide more focus for them because um, clearly I have a lot of makeup, right? So the ones that I have in my shop, my stash currently are the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I have mine in the shade 1C1 or Cool Vanilla. This one I really like, very lightweight. I have learned that... Although it's lightweight, don't try to build it up. Um, the more you build it up, because I have combo oily skin and I notice if I try to build it up even more than one layer that it's going to get kind of oily throughout the day. So I've learned to not build it up, just kind of a few pumps. And this actually produces a lot smaller pumps than like a typical foundation would like the dark the Tarte uh, Double Duty Beauty. Um, that one is like a full pump. This one's kind of like half a pump each pump so it's kind of nice I kind of just do two creates a full pump that's perfect for the whole face um this is a pretty good color match for me as well I would say I am um I'm fair to light skin tone mostly fair um neutral cool leaning um so this one is really nice I don't think I'm gonna swatch every single one of them I don't know I might I might not um but yeah, so this one I will be keeping. The other one that I will be keeping that I actually think I will swatch this one um, just because this one is a very good shade match for me and then it could be a nice comparison to other products as well. Um, but this is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing um, Foundation. It has SPF. Mine is in the shade 140 Porcelain. What I love about this is that it does kind of have a little lock tab. So I'm gonna, I am gonna swatch it like I said, because it is a pretty good, pretty good match for me. So then we can kind of compare other ones to this. So yeah, it might not look like it, it matches to my wrist, but I don't put foundation on my wrist. I put it on my face. So we will compare it to this one. Um, but this one is really nice. I've had it for quite some time. I am to the point that it's probably not the best anymore. Um, I've definitely had it for more than 24 months. Um, but it's still working, works really well. The synchro part, so, or the self-refreshing part, I should say, I don't really know about that. Like, it's supposed to, I don't know, the science behind it, that if it, like, breaks up or something, it's supposed to kind of, I don't know, self-heal. I don't know. But it is still a really nice formula, and I will be keeping it around, hopefully finishing it, finishing it out this month. That would be really great. All right, the other one that I'm going to keep is the Tarte. This is actually the face tape uh, foundation. I have mine in the shade Fair Light Neutral. Um, this one is a probably a hint, just a hint dark for me. Um, but again, if you can kind of do it in small layers, it looks pretty nice. Um, it is more of a matte type of finish. I'd say maybe natural matte, and I should say this too. The the uh, Shiseido one is more of like a natural matte finish as well. The uh, Laura Mercier one, this one's probably a little bit more, it is more on the serum -y side, but if you powder it down, it looks pretty nice um, and it doesn't really go anywhere. So, and then this one is more on like the natural matte type of um, coverage or finish I, I should say all right and then the last one that I'm going to be keeping before we start decluttering some is this is the Dior um powder no powder I have mine in the shade 2n or neutral this one I am almost 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 
done with like t and at this point you kind of need like a really textured brush because to like get in there because it does hard pan pretty easily but I really only have that little bit left um this is a really nice foundation I actually think they they may have reformulated it so this is the original formulation so I can't speak to the new one but uh this one is kind of like a filter for your face but it doesn't provide any sort of like mattifying or anything like that almost I would almost say kind of this lit from within type of look, um, which looks really nice as like a finishing powder or an all over um, foundation. But if you're looking to mattify, this doesn't really do anything. Um, the longevity of it, my oils start peeking through, I would say maybe within like four hours. Um, so this is really nice for like an event. Um, I mean, even for all day, but you might have to like touch up with some like mattifying powder though. All right, so some stuff that we're actually going to start decluttering. This is the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear. Very classic, full coverage, kind of matte foundation. I unfortunately chose very poorly when it came to <laughs> matching myself. I must have been pretty tan when I got this, but this is the 1W2 or in sand, and it's a warm leaning, um, warm leaning color, which just has never been me. Um, so this one I will declutter just because it is kind of it's older doesn't match me so we don't need that I do have um did I put them in here I think I did um when I get to them I'll sh oh they're actually right here so I do have the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigments. Um, so the blue actually helps counterbalance some warmth. So you can add in some blue. It will, you know, neutralize it or even make it a little bit cooler. And then the white is actually to lighten it up if it's too dark. Um, so I do use these for shades that, you know, need a little bit of help or aren't quite the right color for me. But that Estee Lauder one, I do remember trying to use these and it just, I couldn't find a form, you know, like, two dots of this and one dot of this it just didn't work out for me and to be honest I don't want to be this scientist in the morning mixing foundation before I'm trying to go to work um so I'll try to make it as easy as possible so that Estee Lauder one is going to go but these two are going to stay just in case you know I find a for, uh, like a foundation that I absolutely love the finish of it just needs a little bit of help with the um the undertones so that one will stay um, the next one is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. Um, this one, again, not in the greatest of colors. This is a nude beige um, drugstore. Is getting better, but I don't know if this one, this um, line had like a whole bunch of colors. So this one kind of, again, probably picked it up more, more during summertime. And it's just not working out for me. And again, this is um, a radiant I prefer more natural matte, a little bit of luminosity, but this with my combo oily skin becomes quite radiant. Um, so I would say this is really nice for just like kind of summer makeup, no makeup days, but I don't think I need to uh, keep it around. This one is a Sephora Best Skin Ever. I picked mine up in 10N. I actually picked it up in a different color. Um, this was in my Sephora uh, Sephora recommendations wish, wish list. One of those videos that I hauled Sephora stuff, I can link up in the corner for you. Um, I originally had a different shade. That one was way too light. And then I exchanged it for this one. And this one's like a hint to yellow. But again, I could mix in um, this pigment and maybe it will neutralize it a little bit. This one is not really my favorite thus far, but I'm not going to declutter it because I literally just picked it up. So I want to see if it's, if I can kind of try it in different um, weather. I do live in um, Arizona, Southern Arizona. So it's dry a lot of the time of the year. And so, I don't know, maybe a different kind of climate would be better for it or a different season would be better for it. But I'm not gonna declutter it just yet but it's not my favorite. Um, the House Labs one. This is the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I have mine in the shade um, 100 Light Neutral. 
can't quite remember my thoughts about this. I feel like it hasn't been a super favorite of mine, um, but I don't know if I've tested it out enough to kind of decide if I want to get rid of it or not. Um, so this shall make another, well, you know what? Let's, let's swatch it. Let's see. So we're going to put it right here. So as we can see, so this is the Shiseido one that is relatively a good skin match. And this one is a little bit more on the yellowy side of stuff, but still kind of in that same range. So color wise, it seems to be decent. You know, I'm going to keep it one more year and just see... I need to start, this is, this is me reminding future me. I need to start writing this stuff down because I, I don't do beauty YouTube as a full-time job. My full-time job is a mental health therapist. And as you can imagine, that's pretty taxing on your brain. Um, so I try to like go in, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember what I think about this, but you know, I don't at the end of the year, I don't. So I need to start writing this stuff down. So that's, that's future me. We're going to do that. All right. So my newest one, I literally just got this from Ulta. This is the REM Beauty Sweetener Foundation. I was in, um, I got Fair 6CN. So again, it's supposed to be cool, neutral leaning. We shall see. I was kind of in between a few different shades on that. So when I initially uh, looked at this, it's kind of, kind of pink, kind of pink, but we'll we'll see. So it's kind of an interesting um, shape of foundation, which is nice. can be a little bit of a space saver. Um, but let's, let's test it out. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so could be a little bit more on the lighter side of stuff. Let's actually put it right next to the one that we like. So yeah, a little bit, a little bit light, but again, I will test it on my face to see if I like it. If not, I will exchange it. The other shade that I was looking at was, um, I think it was like 8N or something like that. So I might have to go end up using that one, but I will test it on my neck and my face to see what I think of it is the next batch of products. First one being the Sharon C uh, by Uoma Beauty. This is the one that is sold at Walmart. Um, this is the Flawless IRL Skin Perfecting Foundation infused with green tea coffee extract. Um, I originally had another shade of this. I think I had Fair Lady T3, which was a little bit yellow for me. And then I ended up picking up Fair Lady T1. And you know what? It's just it's just okay. I mean, it is supposed to have more of a, um, natural matte finish, but there's just something about this one that I don't absolutely love. So I think I'm going to declutter that one. We have Revlon Canid Glow Moisture Glow Foundation. So although I do say that I'm more of a natural matte kind of fan, I do like to keep around some sort of kind of lightweight glowy foundation for kind of those makeup no makeup days so I think I am going to keep this one and by the looks of it again can't quite remember my thoughts on every single one but um if it's pretty like halfway gone it makes me think that I kind of like it so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that logic and we'll 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 keep it um the next one is the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation I have mine and um, I think it's one N. Um, I'm going to keep this one. I actually really do like this. I like the cooling effect of it as well. It can be a little bit difficult to apply because you kind of have to spray it either on a mixing palette. Like I would not suggest spraying this all over your face and then, um, and then blending it in. I would say spray it on a palette, spray it on the back of your hands, spray it, spray it on the, a brush or a sponge and then put it in. Um, but this one I really do like. This is very natural looking um with light buildable I would say maybe light medium buildable coverage so and I don't know if Dior makes this one anymore I felt like this one was being discontinued as well I can't quite remember but this one I'm going to keep 
Um, this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac um, Tinted Glow Hydrator Medium Coverage up to 24 hours. I do not think that's true, um, but I have mine in 20 fair. 20, yeah, 20 fair. Um, I, I think this one's okay. This one's decent. Again, I can't remember if I didn't like it or if I did like it, but I think this is definitely more I wouldn't say medium coverage. I, if I remember correctly, it's more on the light coverage side of stuff. Um, but it is something I will keep. Makeup Forever HD Skin. What did I think about this? I currently have mine in 1N06. Let's, let's test out the color of it and see, see what we think. Ooh, okay. I don't know. It does seem like very kind of natural. Um, I, I, when I say natural, I mean more of like the um, the texture of it feels pretty good. But it does seem to be a little bit on the like yellow side of stuff. I don't know. And I cannot remember what my thoughts are about this. Hmm. Huh. This might be, maybe go in a maybe pile, maybe in a maybe pile. So what I might do for January is um, kind of test out these maybes in my shop, my stash to see if I like them or not, and then um, declutter those maybes. How does that sound? I feel like that sounds like it could could be a good idea. It could just be me um, not wanting to decide at this moment. That's probably what it is. Um, so the next one I know I'm going to keep because I have, this is like the one foundation that I've gotten like the most, um, compliments on. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow uh, Flawless Foundation. I think this one has a kind of satiny finish, if you will. Um, I have mine in the shade five. I actually had this one in the, the mini size. So some of the, some of the shades actually come in like little mini sizes that I went through. So then I opted to get the big one. This one's really beautiful. So I'm going to be keeping that one. And then this is my, Ooh, what's going on up there? Can we see that? This is my NARS soft matte foundation in Mont Blanc light too. Let's see. Let's shake that up a little bit. Huh. That's probably not good, right? Uh, let me see. Does it like smell? Mm, smell like foundation. Hmm. Okay. So at the moment, I'm going to keep this um, because I do like this as a nice, um, I mean, it is a very nice soft matte foundation and that is what I like. The color is typically good for me. I usually get all of my NARS colors in the Mont Blanc Light 2. Um, so I am going to keep that one. You know, what? I'm going to put this, um, the house labs in that maybe pile as well. So let me do a better job of organizing that. Then we'll start with the Bare Minerals Original, um, Original Foundation Fairly Medium. This one I actually like a lot for a powder foundation. It's just a lot of work. This is a lot of buffing for it to look natural. So you really have to want it, but it does look pretty nice. And just because it's a powder foundation, um, and it says, uh, oh, I thought this one was the matte one. Um, even though it's a powder foundation, this actually has some pretty good luminosity to it. Um, so, you know, just be careful of that. If you are on the more oily, oilier side of stuff, um, this des this won't like kind of cover, you know, won't, won't mattify things. It actually adds kind of a luminosity, but this does look really beautiful when you take the time to um, actually uh, buff it out. All right, this one, I don't think I like. This is the Ambient Soft Glow, Soft Glow Foundation by Hourglass. I have mine in the shade three. I, if I remember correctly, I don't really like this. Oh, that's a lot. Oops, I did not mean to put that much. Um, so again, I think the, the color is way off. It's very yellowy compared to what I typically like. And I'm pretty sure Maybe it was just the color that really threw me off that 
like I was thinking more about the color than I was actually about the finish of things. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Uh, one that I actually really like is the Huda Beauty. This is the faux filter, um, foundation in shortbread. This is a really nice stick foundation. So I will be keeping this one. Sometimes I like to mix it up between powders and liquids and sticks. Um, this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel. I have mine in Porcelain 1. I can't, I, this is going to be a broken record. I can't remember my exact thoughts on this, but I'm pretty sure I didn't like it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop, the original Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. I know this one is a little bit too dark for me, but this does work for me in when I mix in the LA Girl um, white pigment. And this is just a really nice finish. So when I finish up with this one, I probably <laughs> will buy the one that's actually in my shade. Um, so I am going to keep that one. This is the Lancome Tinted Old Ultra Wear Care and Glow. I got mine in 110C. I'm pretty sure I liked this one. If I can remember correctly. So it's definitely more on the glowy side of stuff. That wasn't a very big pump, but you can see. It's definitely a better color match than um, the Hourglass one. So I will keep that one. Um, one that I know I'm going to declutter is this Believe Beauty one. Um, this is supposed to be a medium to full coverage. I say it's definitely more of just a medium coverage. I have, uh, I have mine in porcelain. This actually can be picked up at Dollar General or Family Dollar, one of the dollar stores, but it's $5. Um, and it's a whole line called Believe Beauty. I do, I do remember saying in my shop, my stash is that this just kind of sat on your skin. It didn't really kind of blend into anything. Um, and it's one of those that is like, if I forgot a foundation in a Dollar General or wherever this is located is the only place that I can find foundation, I would pick it up. But it's not, it's not something I want to keep in my collection. Okay, so we have another NARS foundation in Mont Blanc as well, or L2, and this is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Um, I feel like I could give this one up. Again, I, I kept enough um like radiant foundations that I don't know if I necessarily need to keep this one yeah I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna let that one go that one was kind of a I wasn't expecting that but I think I'm gonna let that one go all right, this one I'm definitely going to be keeping. This is the L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Foundation in Neutral uh, N1 or Neutral Light. This one's really nice. This is a great foundation, regardless of it's drugstore or high-end. Like, this is a really great foundation. Um, kind of more of a natural finish. Blends in really nicely. Kind of a medium coverage, probably buildable coverage, um, but this one's really, really nice. So I'm going to keep that one. All right. This one is the Juvia's Place Velvet Matte Foundation. Um, this one is in Vienna. Um, it's very full coverage. I have a very hard time in Juvia's Place finding a shade that matches for me. I think this has oxidized. Like this looks pretty dang dark. And let's yeah, that's, that's pretty dark, but it is a very matte foundation. So if that, if you can find a shade that works for you, you might really like that if you're on the very oily side of stuff. But for me, I just, I could never find one that worked for me. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This one is the Stay Naked um, Weightless Liquid Foundation from Urban Decay. Again, I just, between these two... Mm, what do I want? I think this one's color just again was a little bit yellow for me if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that one. 
Pat McGrath. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfect Perfection Foundation. Mine is in the shade Light 4. Again, really, really, like, just beautiful packaging and everything. But this, if I'm remembering correctly, is a bit is a bit not the right color <laughs> Ooh, and it's very liquidy I don't know if that should be happening so I think I don't know why it's super duper liquidy I think I'm gonna get rid of this one I haven't used the Pat McGrath one in a very long time so we are gonna call it quits together but they do have very nice packaging if I remember correctly because I haven't done my um my concealer declutter at this time which I just literally looked over and found a concealer in here that's not supposed to be in here um I decluttered the Pat McGrath concealer last year because it was pretty yellow too so this is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation I have mine in neutral ivory and this is way too light like this is the first time that something is like way too light for me so I'm going to declutter that one uh, we have the Charlotte's, Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have mine in the shade 2 Neutral, and I do remember this is a little bit dark for me. Let me, let's see. Hmm. -mm. Seems kind of yellowy too, right? Kind of put some next to the swatch that I know I like. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna put that in my maybe pile. We have we have a few in the maybe pile that will comprise probably January's shot my stash. Okay, so we have another L'Oreal True Match nude. This one's the Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. Um, again, this is kind of more on the lightweight kind of side, but can you see? Like, I have used half of this, so I know that I like this one. Um, can I remember my thoughts on it other than knowing that I liked it? No. But again, if I've used up half of it, it means I like it. So I'm going to keep that one. This is newer to my collection too. This is the Fenty Beauty Ease um, Ease Drop Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. I have mine in the shade two. Um, again, I had a little bit of difficulty shade matching myself. Um, I would suggest keeping this little guy because I have a feeling it might dry out if you don't, but maybe it won't. Um, this is okay, in my opinion. Again, I think it might be suited better for dry skin because it's a pretty emollient type of uh, product, meaning like it blends out super easily, but because of that, it has some sort of ingredients in there that makes it kind of blend out, maybe not the best for oily skin. Um, so I do notice some oily, oilies, <laughs> oil baking through, through this, but it, I mean, overall it's, it's a nice foundation, but again, I, maybe it would work better for me in the drier seasons of... Arizona um so I'll have to test that out in different seasons but for now I am going to keep that one this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 16 hour full coverage foundation I picked mine up in 14 and ivory I think I got one of these in my I opted to pick this up in my ipsy box like you can add on deluxe trials pro products which I can like link, link up my uh subscription I cannot talk. I will link my subscription playlist up in the corner for you if you're ever interested to check any of those out, kind of like mystery boxes every month. Um, but I do remember really liking this and this is a pretty good shade match for me. Um, so I'm going to keep this little trial size and potentially might pick up a full size um, if I end up liking this better than maybe like the NARS soft matte, you know, any other full coverage matte ones that I have. Um, but this serves a purpose if I like want really matte coverage. I will use this. One that I know I'm going to get rid of is this Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This one. I never reach for this. I, yeah, I never reach for it for it at all. I have mine in the shade 20. This is one where it's like you can go and get, um, like do an online quiz and then it's like oh right we match you I don't know 95% of the time it's right. Well I do remember the first one being wrong. This one doesn't seem like it's quite right either, and I just, I don't really like it, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Uh, the next one I have is the 
KVD Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm in Light 12. This, this I'm going to keep just for the mere fact I want to finish it up. And I do think it's a good foundation. Um, I think it is better for people who are on probably the normal to dry side of stuff. Um, but it still works for me if I powder it down. The color is, I think, a little bit, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of it dark. Now that I think of that, that's a lot of it dark. Mm. That's pretty dark. I don't know, but then it kind of just blends into that one. Okay. No, I'm going to keep it. Man, is this the, the REM one right here? That just dried down really cool. Like really not cool. Then, oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, and then my light goes out. It always goes out. Um, more of like a pink tone. So I might have to... I might have to get a different shade in that one. Um, okay, so I'm gonna keep this one because it, it matches the the one that I know that I like. Man, shade matching is so difficult. All right, the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. I have mine in the shade Very Light Cool 120. Um, this I, I really do like. Um, you do have to be careful with Kosas products because they don't, they don't have any preservatives in them, so they can go bad quickly. And this one had a little bit of an explosion um, in my in my uh, collection, so I'm gonna have to clean that up too. I know when I was pulling all these, like there's foundation everywhere. I'm like, what the heck happened? Um, I really like this one. Kosas does lean towards the yellow side of stuff, so if you are more neutral, you might consider. Um, going finding a cool based one because everything kind of leans to the yellow but this one works pretty well for me then we have another new one this is dior uh dior backstage face and body foundation i have mine in 0.5 n this is a pretty good match for me i did learn uh when i swatched it the first time it was pretty overpowering swatch um but when you do it in small layers it looks really nice Okay, so this is the last little bit of foundation that I have. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder uh, Foundation. This is new to my collection and I love this. This isn't too fair. This is for very light coverage. Um, this matches me really well. It has a natural finish. Um, this one was like a foundation that I was super excited to use. So that kind of tells you something. Um, so this one I will definitely be keeping and look forward to be using it more. Um, this is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. This one I picked up at like TJ Maxx on sale and um, it's okay, but I'm, I'm done with it. The the concept of the packaging is pretty interesting. So as you can see, it's like in the shape of a beauty blender and you kind of like it does lock, you pump it out and you can kind of use this as like a mixing, mixing tool, but I'm done with it. Then we have Super Goop CC Screen. This is 100% middle CC cream. Um, this one is in the shade, where does it say? It's probably a light or a fair shade. I really, really, really like Super Goop, and I'm quite sure this is probably probably expired. But you know what? I'm I'm gonna keep it. That's probably not the best thing to do, but I am gonna keep it because I do like this. So I'm going to keep. All right, the last two we have Revlon Color Stay 24 Hours Long Wear Makeup. This is combination oily skin. This one's really nice. I like how it has sunscreen in it. The color is matches pretty well the finish of it is pretty nice so I'm gonna keep that then lastly we have the glowish by Huda Beauty this is the multi-do skin tint in fair I do remember the color of this just being kind of wonky the finish of it kind of wonky um so I think I'm going to declutter that one as well All right, so these are the foundations that I'm keeping. Let's do a quick count, 26 that I'm keeping for sure. 
we have these four um, that are maybes. This one is basically, I'm just going to check if this shade is correct or not and probably return it. I have a feeling I'm going to return it. All right. And these are the ones that I'm definitely getting rid of. It's one, two, three, four, 14 foundations not too shabby. So what did I say? I had 26 that I was keeping for sure. Four that were maybes. And then, so that's 30 and then 14. So that's 44. So 14 out of 44. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, again, didn't really come in having any sort of expectations of ones that I was getting rid of. I mean, there was a few that I was like, I know that I'm getting rid of just because of the shade match, but you know, this was kind of on the fly. So thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you are a beauty and reselling enthusiast, then this is the channel for you. Please consider subscribing. Check out my other declutters. I will be having more declutters and I even have the idea of making a mega declutter um, where I will basically put all of my current declutter videos together and make an extra big <laughs> big one um, if you're into longer videos. Um, so if that's something you want to watch, then make sure you like this. If you liked this content, make sure you like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.